Hi guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now, today's video isn't going to be so action-packed as all my other ones. We are doing another collection video today, but I thought it'd be good to do this video now after I've just come out about my alopecia, um, talking about the fact that I'm really insecure about my hair and what I've got on my head. Um, so I thought I would show you what has become my quite huge helmet collection because I've always thought if I can't have pretty hair at least I'll have pretty hats and subconsciously I seem to have collected quite a few so let's go through them. Okay so first of all we're going to start with the classic black kept Italia. Now I absolutely love this hat. I got this specifically for when I started losing my hair um, we were worried it was a riding hat for a bit even though um, we did discover well, um, we could see the pattern over time that I was actually losing my hair on top of my head and around my face. So we knew it wasn't the hat because otherwise we'd be losing it where the hat sits. Um, but we got the cap specifically because it is nice and ventilated, as you can see in the front here. And we decided to go with the plain black just because black goes with absolutely everything. And as you can see, I wear quite a bunch. So being able to have a hat that's nice and versatile, that you can wear with every matchy under the sun is absolutely perfect this is also the hat i used to do all of my schooling in so it's quite often the one you'll see where i take a selfie with my horses um after i've been riding of an evening um yeah it is just really really comfy really really nice and so super versatile goes with absolutely everything under the sun going through it i think i'm going to keep it by order brand just so you guys can pick and choose what you want to see the most so we're going to go for another cap. Now, this was a recent purchase alongside with my other one, which I will show you in a second. Um, actually got this from Vinted. So there were two of them and I got them both for half the price of one off of Vinted. So I was like, absolutely, yes. Ooh, and I've recently just worn this in a photo shoot. So you guys might recognise it. But how stunning is that? And it goes absolutely beautifully with my tan riding boots as well. And I've got some nice tan gloves, courtesy of e-glove, um, which just, it goes so prettily. And I've, I, honestly, I'm in love. I've been, I've been kind of thinking about getting a tan cap for a while, just because I've always wanted a gold hat, because how cool does that look? Obviously, it's secondhand, so the woman had only worn it, um, I think it was to one show and then she decided she didn't like um the caps yeah the colors um which is fine it's not everyone's cup of tea hence why i got them very cheap um so it has got a little bit of wear there you can just see that scratch um but i have to say my black cap i didn't show you but that's got plenty of scratches and bumps and lumps now um it's just what happens when they are well loved so let me crack out the other one pop it back in its bag because i'm doing my precious with it at the minute um, although I do need to get one of these bags for my black cap. My black cap is literally just in like this drawstring bag when it's at the stables. Probably does not help its protection much. Um, but these came with these really good protective bags. So I will show you my other one. And this one I have been dying to get out. So it's another cap. Um, and this is the other one that I got on Vintage that I got as a set with that tan cap. And I have been dying to show you guys this because it is so me it is untrue are you ready i hope you you better be ready oh. um literally i cannot wait to get these on with my boots doesn't it look absolutely cracking and like I said, I got both of these for half the price of one of these brand new off of Vinted. So your secondhand sites like Vinted, eBay, um, I'm not sure about Depop um, because I know that's more kind of designery stuff that goes on there, I think. Uh, but like Facebook Marketplace, you can get loads of really nice secondhand stuff for a fraction of the price, which is really good when you're trying to be matching on a budget like me. Um this one once again was only worn a couple times she decided she didn't like the colors um which is fine because uh, another man's trash is another man's treasure let me just get the boots hold on hold on how good does that look oh my gosh that's gonna be so sick i actually love that this is the first time i've shown these two together and they are a perfect match oh my gosh oh 
they are still muddy from the last time I wore them. Oops. But I love it. Mm. Oh. So yeah, very. if you couldn't tell by my multiple squeaking, I am very excited to be getting that out at some point. Um, it's just a matter of getting horses out and getting them ready to do a photo shoot and all that sort of thing. But I am so ready to do a full matchy shoot with that because it is just quickly becoming one of my favourite hats. So those are my three caps. Now the one that's closest to me now is a cask, so we'll go through my two casks. Now the bags are all the same, so it's like a little mystery. I have to find out which one I'm opening first. Ah. So this is one of, again, one of my more recent acquisitions. This was a Christmas present. How beautiful is that? It's obviously been worn, because it will be. Let me just try and wipe that. Because these, as beautiful as these are, they are not for decoration. They are to be worn, so they will get you know dusty at times get a bit dirt on them but how beautiful is that so that is to go with my brown short tails and long tails whenever ella decides she can do a flying change so it's only been two years trying to teach her <laughs> but honestly i absolutely fell in love when i got this out of the bag the casks are so gorgeous so this was made with flying changes and so they managed to match this middle bit directly to the pattern that i had on my lapels and my tails and I oh, just absolutely love it, especially as, well, it was bought in mind with Star because Star wears um, brown and gold really, really nicely. But it also goes so well with Ella because she's called Golden Girl, so I love getting a gold hat for her. So yeah, next one. Okay, going in with my other cask. Now, many of you have expressed your love for this particular hat. Let me just try and get it off. But, you know, you see so many people with the sparkles and everything, and I do. I absolutely love the sparkles. You will see when I crack out my other hats in a minute. I am a big fan of the sparkles. However, with both of my casks, I am just so in love with the simplicity and elegance of them. Like, how gorgeous and different is that? I just really, really love this. So this goes with my purple and black short tails, which I wore with Ella to the Sheet Gate Under 25s last year. So hopefully this might get get debuted again. I also wore this to the Home International when I was representing the North and East region. Um, and I actually came individual fourth and um, team came third. So this bad boy's been on the podium with me and everything. So yeah really really in love with this hat okay moving along to sam shield next so let's see which one i have picked up here oh now this this should be everybody's favorite so this is one of the first you know kind of glam hats i ever got when i first started losing my hair um this replaced my old gatehouses that didn't as i think my blue one didn't even have any sparkles on it and the minute i put this one on it was like wearing the metaphorical crown do you know what i mean so this was just so gorgeous to wear and you know they say all the gear and no idea however what i would argue is that if you feel your best and feel confident feel beautiful then you are going to ride better because you feel better in yourself and this was one of the very first hats to do that for me. So I've got so many good memories with this hat. So we've got the royal blue accent there, which goes with my royal blue boots. Um, that's been worn to the under 25 championships. This was my warm up outfit for when I was doing the home internationals. Um, it's been to multiples of shows like local and not and it's just so pretty and it goes really nice with both blue and a green matchy matchy outfits so you've got to think of these things you see so the next sam shield that i've got was once again a present just like the blue one and this one does compete for my favorite hat i must say i mean look at that that is actually if a hat could have i don't know stage presence this one would this one gives race car ferrari like do you know i'm gonna say this is one sexy hat do you know what i mean so 
you just you cannot be this so i wear this with my red show outfit my short tails one of my favorite outfits to wear on ella ever because she's just jet black and she looks so pow when she wears um the red for her shows and i just feel absolutely fantastic in this okay last one for the sam shields and this was quite the spur of the moment decision so um i already had my other blue sam shield and then my friend was advertising this on facebook for so cheap for the ha the gorgeous hat that it is i mean look at that in the light isn't that so beautiful and anyway so um obviously i'm in love with my other blue sam shield but i was wanting one that i could school in as well um ride horses that weren't my own in but still look and feel really nice so if i did fall off it wouldn't be my baby that would get killed um so i was thinking about getting a blue um second hand hat um and this was just absolutely perfect the previous owner hadn't fallen off in it um she's a good friend of mine um so i completely trust her about whether the hat is good to go or not okay this one is a blast for the past and it is in fact semi-retired now so let me just crack this out so this is a charles owen round fit i had to get the round fit because i seem to be a peculiar shape and the normal charles owen does give me headaches just the same as the sam shield i have to get the miss shield otherwise i get a bad headache um yeah so this was what was originally to go with my brown and gold jacket before i got my brown and gold tails for ella who is so beautifully called golden girl we had to get the matching outfit of course um it is getting on in age now hence why we decided to upgrade to the cast just because especially with ella because she's got because she's special um we do want to be as safe as possible um but yeah i absolutely adore this hat i've had so many good memories with this i wore this for the very first time i competed ella who is my absolute baby girl um so i've got quite a bit of nostalgia with this i don't think even even though i won't be able to wear it for much longer because i'm a bit worried about how safe it is anymore um i will always keep it and treasure it because it's got memories of that first ever time going down the center line with my beautiful little ella and finally last but not least for those days where i think i might become an eventer or show jumper or something we've got let me just get all the stuff out the middle of it the fantastic gatehouse hs1 so i actually wore this recently to a piggy march clinic courtesy of animal life i don't know if you guys saw last week's vlog but that was so much fun and we actually got this hat silk from ebay just randomly and it matched in really 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 well with the pure escadron peach set like that was okay um yeah so this is the hat that i bob on when i think i might become an inventor um it is always useful to have a jockey skull as well as a peacat um just because you never know where life's gonna take you um randomly i have had to crack this out um it gets used once in a very very blue moon and it's just yield faithful this bad boy will come in handy so yeah that is my full entire collection how it seems to have come about is that i was losing my hair it wasn't going very well for me um and so i started buying a pretty hat and started off with one pretty hat and it felt really nice and really gorgeous and finally felt good about what i had on my head um and then that pretty hat didn't match some of the stuff that i was wearing and so I got another pretty hat to match some of that stuff that's and it's just accumulated over time um I've managed to drop on really well so I'll troll through Vinted, Facebook, eBay um all of those sorts of places um if I'm buying it myself for me to get a cheaper deal and um obviously check and make sure that they are safe because these hats are the thing that just comes between having I don't know death and still being alive after you've been chucked off um and then i've also had quite a few of these as presents and um gifts because people know how important it is to me about that self-image issue um so yeah thank you so much everyone for watching i super hope you enjoyed going through my cheeky little collection um i think i've got a problem i think i might be a hoarder at this point 
um but yeah super hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being uploaded um and until next time guys for me and all my hearts it is goodbye <laughs>